Oh, hello everybody, it's Foxy speaking, and um, I did want to do a very special video, because in this video I'm wanting to wish the gracious wishes and best wishes to an Irish family, which is um, the O'Connor family. They're not a famous or a prominent family or anything of that sort. They're not, they're certainly not royal or anything, but um, the Irish family, the O'Connor family, there is one particular person who um, is in a way a Irish celebrity, a very elderly Irish celebrity. If you do, and that is the Irish centenarian Michael O'Connor, who was born in 1913, in October of 1913, and is now 107, going on for 108 years of age, impressively. And the reason why I'm doing the video wishing the O'Connor family um, gr many gracious wishes and the best of luck is because um, Michael O'Connor himself is due to receive the COVID-19 vaccine in February of 2021 because they've just delivered and approved a COVID vaccine in um, the, Re the Republic of um, Southern Ireland just um, fairly recently. And obviously it would be over 80s in the care homes first over in Ireland as their number one top priority, like it is here over in England and throughout the United Kingdom. And <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. And certainly throughout uh, a great part of the globe, not to mention, well, the great part of our beautiful, beautiful global planet called Earth which is partially desert-like, oceanic, partially arboreal, and certainly landscaping planet Earth, if I can define it in that way. And, um, yes, um, he's expected to take the COVID-19 vaccine, Michael O'Connor is, very, very much so, at the great age of 107. But because he's not in a care home, He's, he um, has to um, wait um, till, until his doctor calls him, which his doctor said should be February, but um, he will get the call whenever he gets the call to, um, for whenever he gets the offering of the COVID vaccine. Like a great many people in their 80s, and certainly hundreds, or Michael O'Connor's age, oh, good gracious, because Michael O'Connor is now 107 but he is absolutely amazing for 107. I mean, if I didn't know how old he was, I would have thought he was no older than 82. I would have thought he was probably about 82 at the very oldest. Because, in my opinion, I personally think um, Michael O'Connor looks about um, 70 or 75 at the very oldest. I mean, I certainly think he looks in his 70s instead of in his 80s or 90s. I mean, there are men in their 80s who have looked far worse than what Michael O'Connor looks like at 107. And um, obviously, although he's in excellent health and still actually quite active for a man his age, for example, taking his dogs for walks and such, and he was still driving up until he was um, 104. We drove until he was 104, um, but still lives independently at the age of 107. Yes. And yes, um, exciting news he'll be getting the vaccine. I'm sure it's very, very exciting for his family to watch. And doing this video, obviously, for him and his family, just to say, as um, I know they would be um, probably very, very excited for their dear elderly um, father. And I'm sure if Michael's late wife, Joan, if she was still alive, because she very sadly died in 2008, as it turned out, I would have thought it was about 2000 or 2005, but no. No, I got that wrong. It was 2008 was when Joan died, very, very sadly. And I think it was a few months short of Michael O'Connor's 95th birthday when he lost his wife, very, very sadly. But... But he didn't go into a nursing home after his wife died. He didn't give up. Obviously, he was very sad when she died. But he continued living life to the fullest, as he does now. And actually didn't even stop him driving when his wife died. 
although there are a lot of people, particularly opinionated individuals, who say people over 90 shouldn't be on the road. And they say it in the click of a finger like that, most understandably. Well, it is uh, incredibly risky for people to drive over the age of 100, but um, there are many centenarians who are still driving on um, the road as as of today and just refusing to give up. <laughs> I'm quite celebrated by 100-year-old drivers, but I think some of you might slam me verbally for it, obviously because you, you want to be overprotective of them for the right reason, and I'd understand why. I'm sure their families would be very, very overprotective of them of the centenarian drivers, um, not just here, but throughout the world. Yes. But yes, Michael O'Connor, the Irish centenarian, who's 107 years young, who could really pass for being maybe 82, in my honest opinion, but you might think, think very, very differently. He's due to receive his COVID-19 vaccine in uh, February, or it could be later, but obviously he has to wait till his doctor has called him up to take the vaccine. He's, he lives in County Kerry, Muckross Killarney in uh, County Kerry, in the Republic of Southern Ireland, just to say. And um, former radio officer, working in the aviation and um, before that in uh, the marine ports and the harbour porting um, radio officing uh, systems. And uh, and a former World War Two veteran, and yes, he he was an interesting man, and he even appeared in a documentary, well, two documentaries actually, when he was a hundred and one, nearly a hundred and two, in older than Ireland, and um, he appeared on a hundred year old drivers when he was in two thousand sixteen, when he was a hundred and two, nearly a hundred and three, he was still driving at that point when he was then a handsome 102, nearly 103. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, he still is quite handsome, actually, for a, for a very, very elderly man. I mean, in my opinion, since he looks considerably younger than the age he is. Yes, but thanks so much indeed for watching. I will actually show you a few pictures of Michael O'Connor, the um, handsome Irish centenarian. And I think some of you probably be intrigued by what he looked like. Thanks indeed for watching everybody. And I will very much see you in the next video. And please let me know what you thought of the photos of Michael O'Connor. They would have all been taken in 2020 with the photographer keeping a distance due to the ensuing Covid kerfuffle. Yes, well quite vitally of course and certainly because he was he's greatly at risk. Of um, health comp of serious complications, serious illness, or even death from COVID if he got it at the age he is. But thanks so much indeed for watching, everybody, and I will certainly see you in the very, very next video. Bye bye, everybody. From your friend Foxy. Another time, everybody. Another time. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> mm.